to me the Holy Spirit. I have been working with you for 36 years and I believe that you are fine people. Well, we don't talk about your occasional black sheep, but by and large, you are fine people. I have no doubt about that. And our church is not bad either, compared to other churches. But I also know for sure that you and I can do better, much better. We have not reached our maximum. Look at the great variety of gifts we have here. Everybody has something to offer. There are gifts of administration, of leadership, of speech, or whatever you can think of that might be very simple gifts. You can cook, or you can do something, play the flute, whatever it is. It is so variety, so such a variety of possibilities. And with such a variety of possibilities, our church should be more, more vital, more prayerful, more knowledgeable, more building community, more witnessing and going out for the love of Jesus. Is there anything that you can do that is more meaningful in life? More inclined to give social service to one another. There should be more. We need the Holy Spirit. We do. Not that we don't have it already. Since the day of our baptism, He has been with us. Because nobody can say that Jesus is the Lord unless He is prompted, says and Paul, by the Holy Spirit. But we need Him more. Every moment of our life, increasingly more. And we must pray for it. And we must keep on praying for it. And then He will come. Come, Holy Spirit, Father of the world. Enkindle our hearts and inspire us with a new fire of love. May the old men dream your dreams and the young men see your visions. Blow through your church as a mighty wind, driving away all the cobwebs of unbelief and slowliness and laziness and mediocrity and selfishness, so that we all may come together again into the one holy Catholic Church which Jesus had in mind, and in doing so, may we you.